We also have another example, example 8, about a situation, okay? A 60 watt fan of a central heating system is to circulate air through the dust, okay? The analysis of the flow show that the fan needs to raise the pressure of air by 50 pascal to maintain the flow. And the fan is located in a horizontal flow section whose diameter is 30 cm at both the inlet and the outlet. And we need to determine what is the highest possible air fresh flow velocity. Here I need to highlight something that is the air fresh flow velocity. Okay. We have a method to calculate this one. First, is that well, we know that the volume is equal to A times L for a cylinder type of fluid flow. Suppose we would like to get the volume flow rate. Okay, we just stop both sides, take the time derivative. Suppose the cross sectional area doesn't change, okay, or just change a very, very little bit. Okay, we will neglect the change so that we get AL dot. AL dot, okay. And what is L dot? L dot is what we call the velocity, okay? But this V and this V are different. This V is the volume flow rate, okay? Well, V dot is the volume flow rate, and this is the velocity, okay? We will use this fact here. We will use this fact here to do this problem, okay? So here, because we only have the change in pressure, that's 50 pascal, okay? And we only have the diameter as well as this 60 watt, okay? Nothing else. So we will do some of the assumption to simplify the calculation. One of them is that we will neglect delta Ke as well as delta Pe, okay? For delta Pe, because it's a horizontal flow section, so we will neglect that. But for the Ke, well, in this case, we don't have sufficient data, so we will declare that, okay? And here, we will also assume one more thing, is that this equation, okay, this equation, uh, V dot equal to A times V, is only failed when this fluid is incompressible. So in order to use this, we will assume that air is incompressible. Well, in most cases, it will be incompressible unless there will be a very, very big pressure gradient or a pressure change, okay? We will see this kind of a situation in later chapters, okay? So here, we will analyze the energy inside this system, okay? So we will have a E in dot, okay? That should be the energy supplied to this system, okay? So we will have W in dot and this one, uh, actually we already know the unit, but I would like to do more here. So here, this W in, well, is actually the flow work that is supplied to this air. So that we will have, this one sh should be the delta of this flow work, okay? Or the delta of the work, okay? That will be an increase of this flow work. And assume this uh, V dot is constant, so we will get V dot delta P. Okay, V dot delta P. Okay, so we will get the maximum volume flow rate. Okay, this V maximum should be equal to the W in dot divided by the delta P. Okay, the pressure gradient. And plug in the value 60 watt divided by 50 pascal. So we will get a 1.2 meter cube per second. And that's what we get here. Oh, I should write this one, correct to three significant figures. So we will get this value. Okay, let me talk about this once again. This E in, we assume that there is no any heat transfer involving in this case, and there should be no any delta Ke and delta Pe, so that we will get W in dot. And this W in dot is actually the flow work it will increase the energy content of this air, and it is given by this delta PV dot, delta PV dot, and we get a V dot delta P, okay? And here, we will get the V dot maximum, that is a W in dot divided by delta P, and we will get this, okay? And then, we will also find out the V maximum. What's the V maximum? So uh, we will use this formula, V dot equal to A times V, so that it will become V max dot divided by the cross section area. 
I will use a subscript C to denote this uh, cross section area. So that this one it becomes 1.2 divided by pi times uh, 0 0.3 divided by 2 squared. Okay, because it's a 30 cm. So 30 cm is e equal to uh, 0 0.3 m. And we need to divide it by 2 to get the radius. And use a calculator, you will find that it will become this one. And uh, correct to three significant figures. OK? OK, here we have determined the average flow velocity. But you can see that we have subscript max here. Why it is a max? Because the actual velocity would be smaller than the maximum. Okay? Should be smaller than the maximum because there should be some of the frictional losses and other kinds of losses. Okay? Mainly should be frictional losses. Okay? So we have done this example.